Hello and welcome to another video from erpdrill.com. In this video we are talking about the S4 HANA server. This is with the feature pack 1. It's a custom server installed on SUSE Enterprise Service Pack 2. The database is HANA 2.0. Uh, the HANA has the lifecycle LC apps application installed and the S4 HANA software takes advantage of that. And uh, we have the front-end 3 server, the Fury uh, applications run on this, uh, which is running on the NetWeaver 7.1 code base. So you'll see a screenshot for all of this. Um, and it's activation ready. Uh, best practice client uh, 100 is ready for activation. And uh, the 00, 00 client from which the 100 was copied from, uh, you can recopy it into other clients. For, I mean, this the active client is running on uh, US best practice. And if you want, like Australia or another country, you can copy from 000, 000 and reactivate. All of the content is loaded. So it's a fully loaded uh, server. So let's take a quick look. Uh, this is how it is. Uh, the uh, readme file uh, here tells you what you need to do when you get the server first. First, you set your host, host name in, in YAST. So let's do that. So go into YAST, System Utilities, System Tools, YAST. Uh, since this is Sassy Linux, it's, it's uh, friendly to Windows admins, but there's some things you need to remember. It's very, it's much more powerful from a command line plugin. So this is the host names. Uh, so before you enter the host name, you need to find out what the IP address is. So we go into uh, just open your home directory, open in terminal. Command is ifconfig, ifconfig. Okay, and uh, this has dual adapter. One is a slave, so it has uh, it assists the first one. The IP address is 10, 0, 0, 50, 10 dot zero dot zero dot fifty okay so and uh, leave the host names exactly the way it is uh, only change the IP address so once the IP address is ch uh, changed you logged in log into uh, uh, HANA so there's two users one is HANA that's the database user so the first thing you do is open HANA so the HANA user is uh, su slash l hdbadm hdbadm okay so that's the HANA directory and HDB start is the command to start HANA. So uh, that will take some time to run. So we'll take a look at uh, at uh, this particular server. Uh, this is a 128 uh, gigs of RAM server. Okay, and uh, it this is the control panel for this particular server, and it has Sassy Linux 12 service back to Genome is the uh, the GUI. All right, so um, Samba is how you talk to your Windows machine. So if you want to talk to your, uh, and that is already set up for you, it boots up. Uh, it boots up when the computer starts. So you go into settings. And you go into details of the server. You can see the memory is 125. That's uh, active memory. It's 128. 40 cores. Okay, the 40 cores. So each CPU has two cores. Uh, I mean, uh, 20 cores. So total of 40. Uh, the CPU code is E52660 V2. That is uh, the Intel Xeon CPU. It's dual CPUs in this machine. Okay, and uh, there's 3.4 terabytes of SSD. So this is very important. So there's uh, 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 basically two terabytes actually, because uh, the other terabyte is a backup disk that we'll be removing with all the uh, utilities and all that stuff on it. So that will be gone. So two SSD drives. The partitioning on the server is very, uh, very important because when you install an SAP on Linux, there's a certain way you have to partition. There's certain uh, partition, um, the format types. There's XFS, there's a BRTFS, that's a file system for the boot. So you can see here we have uh, for user SAP mount point, we have uh, 270 gigabytes. For the op operating system, we have that much. The boot sector has its own. These are all manually created. Okay, slash home is where we put the media and stuff like that. Okay, and then we have SSD2, that's SDB, that is uh, the second uh, SSD. In that, we have the HANA mount point. So the HANA is running it on its own, on its own, uh, on its own um, SSD. Okay, and then we have an LVM. So you can, uh, where is the SSD? Okay, you can add in partition. So we leave 
a little bit of space 360 gigabytes is free so that's, that's the rest of the one terabyte so that's left there just in case you need something in the future okay so that's just uh, uh, just just uh, a run up on what so the HANA is started so you'll see the servers incredibly fast so you can you, I, I, rec I reckon we should open so HDB INFO is how you see you can see the HANA and everything started so you open another uh, terminal and start su slash s 4 h is sid and adm is the thing so that will bring you to the uh, the authorized user for sap uh strt start sap all is a command for for that okay so i'm going to make another note uh, to this uh, the monitoring command okay uh, six and more to your monitoring console is called DP monitor uh, and then we check the profile profile is s 4 h instances d01 and uh, the server name is s4 hana 128 okay so you put this command in it'll bring up the dispatch dispatcher so you can see that uh, the instance on Hanai started so now you just take a you just copy this copy you can copy any of these T codes and paste it here if you're new so paste So dispatcher is still starting up, okay? So dispatcher is not running yet. So it, it's, it's taking some time. System name neither in profile nor in command line. Okay, now we'll just uh, we'll go back to that in a bit. In the meantime, let's take a look at uh, the GUI. Oh, it's all there in the main console. Close this. You don't need that anymore. Save. Okay, I'm gonna minimize this. Let's have GUI and let's go into HANA Studio as well. We open both. So this is the HANA six point. It's one six zero zero, but with the because of the feature pack one, we've called it one six one one. That's the same thing as the SAP. Uh, all the passwords will be given to you okay and you can see here the HANA is now started okay okay let's go into the administration console we can take a look at how much RAM is being used and how much okay you can see here there's 100 of the 120 and 117 is allowed or available the rest is overhead okay and then the CPU CPU is, uh, is irrelevant irrelevant mostly because you never max out you never go more than 50% for some reason because it's a single user okay now uh, we will uh, take a look at the GUI login okay, client 100 is our client basis is my user oh, sorry and the login everything is is very very quick so you can see that uh, the dispatcher is still starting up okay so you have to just give it some time for it to fully start up okay now it's up and running okay let's take a look at the status okay and one of the most important things and you can see it's licensed to 2025 okay and uh, if you go into the the uh, kernel you can see it's the latest kernel 749101 that is the latest kernel okay and uh, if you go into the status the installed application very important when you're getting access from any company is that you check to see that is installed correctly so these three components have to be installed for it to be installed correctly it's the HANA 1610 okay and you can see it's feature pack 01 then the front end server is three this is where the fury runs on and then you need to have the netweaver uh for one six one zero netweaver seven point five one four so these are the three things you need these two to run the fury front end and uh you need uh the uh 
the prior this uh, S4 core or the core so S4 ANA core, which is the application here. And then you can see here the uh, details. You can see the patch level is one. That's the uh, upgraded version. And you can see here some of the additional add-ons that's installed. It's a uh, okay. Fury, that's a UI of the Fury applications for SFIN human capital management. These are all additional stuff. S4 HANA on premise has its own Fury applications, travel, cross applicant. Okay, and this is the service tools for loading the uh, the um, the. Let's go into and take a look at it. Okay, so uh, the S is activation console. Okay, and if you go into uh, import solutions from reference content, you can see all the reference content is is included in this. Okay. Okay, you can see uh, the entire thing, but you can you should make sure that you don't click CLD. CLD means cloud. We want the uh, we want the OP. So these are the ones that we need. Okay. OP OP is on premise, and is Australia, Canada, uh, France, Germany. UK, Hungary, Japan, Netherlands. So these are all the activation costs. So we installed the UV, that's a US version three. Okay, and uh, and uh, it's fully installed. But uh, you can create a new client and activate your own uh, software. And one more thing that we loaded completely is installation data from reference content. You can see that all the installation files are uploaded from Solution Manager. Okay, and again, remember that you pick the OP on premise very important okay so that is that so that's that all right uh, and uh, and uh, so that is that and uh, so that is the S4 HANA basically uh, the license you can see uh, let me just go and take a look at the license I'll show you the guys guys the license the HANA has its own license and again this is a fully loaded license fully loaded meaning uh, we've installed all of the add-ons as well. So the add-ons are HANA. That is a dynamic tiering as a EPM. EPM is not installed on this particular software. It's only sync, remote data sync is installed and HANA database. None of this stuff is installed. These are all add-ons that you can add. SDS is smart data. That is not installed either. Uh, okay, so these things when you install, it will show up, product description will show up. We have a remote data sync and the HANA installed. Okay, so that is that and uh, again fully loaded it's incredibly fast you will not I guarantee you, you will not find access anywhere as quick as this there's a physical server that you can buy from us again very user-friendly everything is done for you all of the commands are, are specified for you again remote support is available for any further issues that you have we've installed all the patches everything is is uh, is uh, installed ready to go for you to play around with and uh, and uh, y you can give access, get access, all sorts of stuff. Again, you can see enterprise Linux server 12 service pack 2. Okay, LC apps, so you can see installed plugins is uh, live cache is installed. Okay, and the server is from Rackable Systems. Okay, so uh, uh, and uh, yeah, so that's it. If you have any questions, email us, send us a quick uh, uh, email for any questions that you have if you want it customized or uh, if you want us to install the content for you for your country we can do that with your language all of that will cost you another 500 bucks more on top of this so all of that is possible again this is not a production server this is for training absolutely for training okay and uh, for you to learn if you're writing consultant exams and stuff uh, fully loaded ready to go